Would you like to know how to make a Twitch highlight? Yes, and highlight is somewhat different than clips, so you might want to stay tuned. Hey, I'm Dale. And I'm Walt. This is Live Streaming Tech, where you're going to learn how to live stream online. Uh, super simple. All right, Dale. Show us how it's done. Head on over to twitch.tv, and of course, you want to make sure that you're logged in. The very next thing you're going to do is select your profile picture up in the top right hand corner. We're going to go into video producer. Keep in mind, you can't create highlights unless they're actually the videos that are available inside your video producer. So we're going to hit video producer and we're going to scroll through and find whatever video we want to create a highlight from. So you can see some of the stuff that I've done for video on demand, the videos I've uploaded, we can't create highlights from those at this point. What we can do is go to the other lives. So here we're going to hit highlight. And then what you're going to want to do is find the specific footage that you want to say highlight. So if you have something like a killer game footage, this is where you're going to want to go. And it's going to take a little bit of time for you to actually find where that is. So a little bit of time, a little bit of patience, you'll be able to get there. So let's say we're just going to scroll it forward. And now keep in mind, the longer that you make your highlight, the longer it's going to take for it to process. So if you try to make your entire stream a highlight, It'll probably take, you know, a couple hours, especially if your video is really, really long. Something that's, say, a minute or two long, so something like this, it's about four minutes. This will take a bit, but it should be ready relatively soon. So I'm going to make this as short as possible. If we want to say, for instance, find that this is great, I'll go ahead and I'll hit play. And of course, I'd be listening to this normally. I'm going to go ahead, click unmute and pretend like we're listening to it. All right. And let's say this is the footage that I wanted to go ahead and highlight. Then we go ahead and start and stop it there. That's fine. If we find that we're like, oh gosh, we really want to get right on to the second, like we can always click on this area and go 13 minutes, one second, if that's where we want it to be. And we press enter to actually get it there. Same thing goes for here. Let's say we just keep getting it closer, but not close enough. We would really dial it in that way. So you would end up hitting play. You would see if that's what you're shooting for. And then you would go ahead and we would take this. So we go hit publish highlights. Before we do that though, it's important to note that we want to name this highlight. So let's just say for instance, in this one, uh, I could probably have been sharing, uh, let's just say that this was something that I wanted to share. You don't have to call it a highlight if you don't want to. You, I, I try to leave it there because it just reminds me what it is. The nice thing is as soon as you get this all saved, Highlights don't go away. They stay there. We can utilize those on social media. We can share it wherever we want to. We're going to go ahead and hit publish highlights. It's going to switch on over here to where it's going to process this. I recommend that you take a little bit of time and put a description into here. That way it gets indexed. Now keep in mind that the algorithm on Twitch is not very sophisticated, but the algorithm on Google is very sophisticated. I've had a number of times that highlights as well as any VOD, any kind of video on demand that when I've put a description in here has been pulled up by Google. So take your time, go through here and fix things. So if for instance, if you have the time to go ahead and make one, I would say make yourself a thumbnail. So I've selected my thumbnail. I'll go ahead and upload it, finish cropping. Now you can see I already had a description here based on the original video that I had this. So if I wanted to, I can also go through here and fix this. Remember, if you want to have anything link out, you want to use the markdown feature that's on here. But in this instance, I'm not gonna bother with it. Um, you will notice it was kinda cool. I actually copied and pasted this in here and they automatically made the markdown for the highlights. So I don't even have to worry about doing that. It's English, obviously. Uh, it's already set on talk shows and podcasts for, for this particular instance. If we wanted to change it, say for instance, we can always go gaming constructor simulator. Uh, maybe it is um, just chatting. We can always put that in there. We can change that out. No tags were selected. Unfortunately, there's just no way for me to add this since it probably wasn't added to the original stream. So, and permissions, we can have everyone, or we can even make this highlight to where it's only available for our subscribers. So it's a nice little bonus that you can give to your subscribers. So at any rate, um, it's still processing this video. Once it's done processing, I would end up hitting save changes. 
While this is processing, uh, I think we can probably take a look at a couple little features here. The very first thing is add to, and it's what's called collections. If you're familiar with uh, YouTube, YouTube has what's called playlists. Well, collections are like playlists on Twitch. So you can always create some collections. So let's say for instance, I can always put my best of highlights. And then we'd end up creating and dropping it in there. Or if we wanted to just put it into an already existing collection, we can also just tick it off or tick it off right here. But in this instance, I'm not gonna probably add it to that. So we're just gonna go ahead and go back. And then we can also put it into the rerun queue. This is, uh, I don't know how much longer they have the rerun queue up. I know that they had premieres pulled away more recently. Who knows how long they'll keep reruns up, but essentially you can always put this into rerun, meaning that we'd put it over to where we can run this uh, during our downtime while we're not streaming. So I have not utilized reruns very much. I've noticed very little engagement when it comes to that. The other feature I want to bring to your attention is the video URL. So when you want to go say, share this through social media, you can also copy this, go over to say Twitter, and then you can go ahead and just hit paste and then go share away. But since this video isn't processed yet, I'm obviously not gonna share this just yet. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. Uh, I've just went ahead and it's done processing. We're gonna go ahead, hit and save changes. There we go, it is all set. The highlight is all good. And the nice thing is, is it does not go anywhere. As soon as you have that highlight set there, it'll be there for good. Now, uh, a lot of questions that people will say is, um, it's been stuck in processing for X amount of time. Um, I've actually looked into this through Reddit and a couple other forums, and this is a pretty common issue. And what Twitch support says is, we'll let it just set because it might take a little longer to process for that specific file. I've seen some people where they had seven hour clips, they've tried to condense down to one hour and it's taken upwards of a week. And then there's been other times where some people will take upwards of say 15 minutes. This particular one is about one minute, 17 seconds, and it took about five minutes for them to process it all together. And the event that you don't want it on there, you can also just click the drop down and hit delete on this. Remember, you can also download it or you can even export it to say a YouTube channel to where you may wanna share your highlights or you can also just hit watch and then enjoy it there. Remember there is the share feature, so you wanna make sure you share it to social media when you get the opportunity. And while we're still talking about Twitch, have you optimized your Twitch channel? If you have not, I really highly recommend that you go take a look at this playlist series up here. These videos take you through from point A to point B to point C and beyond, so that way your Twitch channel looks like a professional put it together. I'll see you there.